Day two, March 6th, 1857, Dred Scott decision, denying the right of citizenship to black people after slavery ended. We think they, people of African ancestry, are not and that they are not included and we were not intended to be included under the word citizens in the constitution and can therefore claim none of the rights and privileges which that in instrument provides for and secures to citizens of the United States. They had for more than a century before been regarded as beings of an inferior order and altogether unfit to associate with the white race, either in social or political relations, and so far inferior that they had no rights which the white man was bound to respect, and that the Negro might justly and lawfully be reduced to slavery. He was bought and sold and treated as an ordinary article of merchandise and traffic whenever a profit could be made by it. Chief Justice Roger Taney, U.S. Supreme Court. Dred Scott was born a slave in Virginia and was the property of Peter Blow. When his master died, Scott was then brought by, bought by Dr. John Emerson, an army surgeon. Emerson traveled to Illinois and other parts of the modern day Midwest, taking Scott with him. Emerson also died. So Scott went back to Mrs. Emerson to purchase his freedom for $300 because he lived for a time in Illinois, a free state. She refused. Scott then took his case to court to purchase his freedom under the pre premise that he was a citizen of the United States.